welcome back as we begin our top 8 of today's mid-season showdown here at Informatics Academy with a look at a player who we haven't been able to feature on stream so far because he's just been too good. 5-0 <laughs> in Swiss. Yeah, Wilson undefeated. Um, not really a so uh, not really a very regular here at the tournament. He's come uh, once or twice, uh, not really made much of an impact. He's actually staffed more events than played mm, of yeah. late over the past year or so. So, welcome and welcome return, 5-0 in Swiss. Up against a player who, on the other hand, just about squeezed in 3-2 and two in mm. Tang Pikmin. Well, I don't think you should count him just out. Um, I don't think you should count him out just yet. Uh, he does have a pretty good, I think, tournament record. Yeah, in terms of tournament record, taking it that he does have the superior record. Mm. He's cut multiple tournaments. He's cut, I believe, two opens already so far. Indeed. Um, top, top, even, top, at least making top eight for several PCs. And he was our well. best senior player in 2015. 2016, rather, yeah. Alright, it'll be interesting to see what sort of teams both players are running. Yeah, so Wilson, as we pointed out, did go unbeaten in Swiss. But and we haven't had a chance to put him on stream so far because no pressure. He's been winning all the way. He hasn't he hasn't had hasn't quite been on the yeah, bubble like the other players. Stakes not quite there. So now stakes have been raised. The Swiss records have effectively been erased. Mm. They will be single elimination. Best of three going forward. As Wilson's team. On your screen, we do see there that the uh, Tapu Coco, Landerus, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Cresselia, and Venusaur. And for Tigming, he is rocking the Tyranita, Landerus, Katana, Azumario, Cresselia, and Tapu Coco. Azumong? Azumario without redirection. Interesting. No, Ally Switch doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything about Ally Switch. Do you don't need thinking to be, no, don't need to be so defensive. Yeah. Guys, Wilson. Interesting decision there, the Venusaur without the Charizard, actually opting for the Mega Venusaur. So like Eugene, sensing that the meta game might be ripe for Mega Venusaur to sit in front of everyone and proven right so far. Especially since, you know, most play Metagross players have decided to Drop not Zed run Zed Hebat and instead run Ice Punch, which might be a good move if Mega Venusaur doesn't have Thick Fat. So we'll be going into game. I think Mike, I believe, has a very clear path to victory. Set up Azumaro and just let it tear through uh, Wilson's yeah, no entire No psychic team. terrain, no redirection. Mm. Everything does go down to either a boosted Aqua Jet or a knockoff. Oh, they don't run play rough on Azumaru? No. Az knockoff being more useful against Amongus. Uh, mm. Okay, well, into the game, it is going to be a Crest Mirror match, although Ting Meng has opted to bring in Tarianita and Wilson brings in the Coco. Uh, Ting Meng's name, though. Not quite what it should be, so Justin's fault probably during team sheet. Input Tick Ming's name doesn't have a C in the tick. But Wilson opening oh. with the Coco and the Cresselia, and Tick Ming clearly going to favor a trick room option since he has Tarinta on the field. Mm. And doesn't really have anything. Ooh, but Mega Tarinta. Maybe trick room not as key after all. He might be wanting to Dragon Dance since he's fairly unhindered here. No, I, I he might fear to trick room from Wilson instead. As Coco goes for the Volt Switch, so Wilson might be going for a Volt Switch and trick room play. That would be good. I, I mean, Tick Meng, there are other, uh, other forms of speed control aside from uh, Trick Room. We Mega Tarita being one of the better options against Venusaur, actually. Able to fire off Crunch into the Venusaur. Yay. Rock Slide as well doesn't. Uh, and Incineroar comes in to intimidate Tarita. So even with Dragon Dancers, it's back to neutral. However, Incineroar only has only really has a low kick and, has, and does fear Rock Slide. Since Tarita with the Dragon Dance will reset its attack to neutral. But do we see the Trick Room come out from either player? Oh no, no goes for Icy, Icy Wind, Wind comes out. So which means Tarita probably still faster than Incineroar after the Dragon Dance. Yeah, Unless you speed is reset back to the so Cresselia gonna go for the Ice Beam into what was the Tapu Coco. Incineroar gonna eat it up with uh, Assault Vest and the Resistance. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tick Meng's uh, Tarita now at uh, totally neutral stats, unchanged. Does he want to risk going for another Dragon Dance again? If he has Helping Hand, a Helping Hand Rock Slide might just end Incineroar. You have to consider that but Incineroar does have Fake Out. But Fake Out yeah. does go after Helping what Hand. What if you Fake Out the Tyranita though? Oh, no Fake Out as well? Okay, What's no Helping Hand as well. It's vulnerable to the low kick, I think. It, and it does survive, so he does get the low kick off, Tyranita will go down. As Icy Wind comes out once again, showing that he outspeeds the Incineroar. Mm. Gonna bring Tyranita now, probably slower than Incineroar. But if, it's, but if Tyranita goes down to low kick, then it's immaterial. But Tyr Incineroar does flinch. And Icy Wind comes off, but Incineroar again should survive. But the Icy Wind will negate his own Icy Wind, and Tarita will still move before Incineroar. Mm -hmm. I might even go down to the sand distance, Incineroar. 15? Yeah, that is 10%, but no, it's gonna do 6.25%, 6 which means it doesn't scale. 
Hmm, barely. Hangs on with 3 HP. Ooh. Yeah, right though. Tarantula could just protect. But if you just attack because Incineroar can't protect, it's likely Assault Vested. Hmm. But he can probably guess it's definitely Assault Vested. He's seen the damage roll. Uh, if Wilson has um, Landorus, maybe he wants to switch in. Although that isn't really a good it's idea. 3 Rock Slide damage. Not only that, and but Ice, Ice Beam, he saw. Yeah. It's Ice Beam and Ice Beam hmm. on Techman's side. I think he's gonna risk it though. No, okay, gonna it is a Coco. Coco. Still gonna eat a lot from Rock Slide. It is neutral Rock Slide. He's gonna land. I just do half the double Coco. As it does. More than half, in fact. Potentially flinging crest, but not quite. I see him goes off. So at this point, Coco's moving first anyway. And Tigmin might take advantage of it by trick roaming. Especially since he knows that Wilson wants to go for IC win. Yeah, he does go for it. Wow, wow, Excellent wow. Excellent play from Tigmin there. What a Recognizing that Wilson didn't really have any other option. He either loses his Incineroar, in which case he loses his best sweeper under trick room, or he switches it out, in which case it's something faster which doesn't want trick room. And Wilson was going for IC win every turn. Mm. So, wow, that, that was a good call by Ting Meng here. Wilson, at this point, probably just wants to sacrifice his Incineroar to get one more Intimidate off. Yeah. So he can't take another Rock Slide on Coco, who is going to be moving last. Unless he resets Trick Room with his own yeah, Cresselia. Can't even Volt switch out, has to go for a manual switch out here. Uh, Wilson does have one more Pokemon at the back. Um, Venusaur, you expect. It's mm. Mega. Then nerfing the Tyranny. Oh, Ting Meng hasn't even switched in any of his Pokemon yet. He's just so confident in his in his lead. Hmm. Tarantas power output just is that strong. Hmm. And Dragonus did reset the Intimidate, so it's a neutral Tarantas, and Rock Slide is just a very strong attack. As he does double up with the Crunch and Ice Beam, no, just goes for Rock Slide. Is it going to be enough to take off Cresselia? I think he's resetting Trick Room here. Hmm. Going to go below half. Does he get the reset Trick Room? He does get the reset. But again, Coco can't take out Tarantas. Not with the sand. Yeah, and th that's uh, honestly a lot of free damage that Wilson is taking. And it's something sand. that Tingman can capitalize on. The the internal at critical HP, uh, the Coco and Cresselia. Cresselia has already eaten its berry and it's already at below 50%. I mean, how do you come back from this? How he has to kick and hope he kills Tyranita. Mm, in sand though, yep. Tingman seems pretty confident not protecting his Tyranita. I think both players have to go for this play. Mm. Ting Ming, I think, hoping to survive, and Wilson hoping it will KO. I think, somehow, I think the odds favor Ting Ming. I Since don't know. gain special defense when it Mega Yeah, evolves. but that HP stat isn't looking too good. We'll find out. This turn. As Tarita does go down. No critical hit as well, so a very clean KO there. And Cressela further reducing the stat of its opposing. But uh, Ice Beam number. will KO his own Coco. So I think Tigmin takes that trade. Especially since Incineroar is already so low. Ooh, but he goes for Icy Wind instead. I think that's fine, because crucially now Coco will might be slower than whatever comes in. And crucially, since he didn't kill the Coco, it doesn't afford Wilson the free switch in into the Incineroar, which could provide um, a good support with the fake out on Scarf the next Landorus, turn. maybe? Or Katana, yeah. maybe. Katana would be good. That looks to be Landorus. But even if he's not scuffed with the Icy Wind drop onto the Double Coco. Though, I don't think Rock Slide could KO the Cresselia. Mm, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, he, and we know his full moveset, which doesn't have Helping Hand. I would I would say you ignore the Cresselia, except for the fact Cresselia does pack the Icy, Icy win, win, which is four times. Could be Ice Beam as well, he doesn't know. Yeah. He hasn't seen the full moveset. So maybe he wants to go for a knockoff on the Crest, but even then, that doesn't do as much damage now that the berry is gone. Or oh, maybe Rock Slide. Coco's gonna ho protect itself, hoping, to, hoping for Cresselia to get the KO. But he does go for the U-turn smartly into the Cresselia. Is that going to be enough? Yep, Ooh, it is going to pick up the KO. Though, he's going to have be forced to switch out. And face what is likely to be a free Incineroar switching. With mm. a fresh fake out. Maybe it's the Katana though. It is the Katana. So and Incineroar. Well, again, Incineroar down to what? 2 HP? 3. Three. Yeah. A anything will just blow. Uh, anything will just knock it out. Just a slight breeze will take it so out. When we some, I think we suspect the katana is carrying the Z move, which would allow it to kill Incineroar. But it doesn't have protect anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's assault bested. I think Incineroar goes for the fake out on the katana, and and, and Wilson tries to kill that before before he can start to get the ball rolling and become a huge threat. He can't kill the katana though. Mm. He has to double up with fake out and something. Yeah. And Coco's already blown the Z move. 
Oh, he's gonna switch out the Cresselia for the Landorus to get the Intimidate off. But Katana, I think, has to protect. Or detect, rather, in this case. Yeah, it does. Oh, he's protect. Oh, come on, take me. Ow, well, protect has more PP. Use your hard skill. <laughs> Full switch. Into the Landorus. So really good turn for Tingming here. Burns off the incinerates, fake out pressure and um incinerates. <laughs> Incineros. And fake yeah, out I do expect this to be the scarf landerous. Rockstar is just gonna clear the clear the field. Hmm. I think you so press like that it means doesn't get the beast boost. Uh, oh, I think you U-turn something. Uh I think if you're cheeky you just switch out uh, katana and then just earthquake. You know, you get two KOs here. You get a beast boost though. Hmm. If you U-turn and then KO with a katana. Yes, the landerous and coming uh, in. Here. Beast boost would offset the intimidate. So Wilson reveals his last spawn. It is the Landorus. Still unsure on which item, what items both of these Landorus are holding. So Take me as Keep has consistently shown U turn. Just pick up the Incineroar, and a Bloom Doom might pick off Landorus. I don't think he'll be pressing Bloom Dooms considering the target is really already at Death's door. He will ho hope to KO through Protect though. A Broom don't do that slot will be guaranteed KO and a Beast Boost. But it just goes for Leaf Blade. Does he hear the Faithful sound now? No critical <laughs> hit. <laughs> so Wilson losing the Instant Raw down to his last But Coco does reset his speed com and comes back in. Does reset the rain and does threaten the Coco. Uh, does threaten the Katana if it is not carrying the Sash. But again, both players... Maybe both players have more information on each other's teams than we do. Mm. Since they have played 5 rounds of Swiss. But if the katana is sash, it's still in a very strong position. Mm. Tickling's Chrysler really has nothing to fear. Lander is going for the rock side. So Wilson revealing he is Scarf Lando as well. He needs a flinch on the Chrysalia. But he does break Katana's sash as well. If it, it is, is sash. sash yeah. Thunderbolt in terrain will pick up Katana. But goes for Chrysalia. And doesn't KO. Gets ho, his berry. Ho, ho, ho. Barely. Chrysalia hangs on with a sliver of HP. Restores his HP. But the Katana flinches, but the, the Kershela gets his Ice Beam off against the Scarf Landorus, unable to take the hit with no Assault Vest, will go down, Wilson down to just the Dapu Koko. Yeah, and at this point, I think you can say Tingmeng has taken game one. Yeah, what he can't, of adjustments, he can't so. kill with Dazzling Gleam, and single target Thunderbolt is not gonna pick off both. Mm. And whoever doesn't get KO'd will KO back. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, it brings. Check Chaos Katana after the Sash is broken, assuming a Sash. But Ice Beam into Coco's Red Health will finish it off. Bring us to game 2 with Tickming leading 1 0. So upsetting the odds. The 3 2 taking out, taking game 1 off the 5 0. Mm, score isn't everything. That was Swiss. And Wilson was notably not bringing the Venusaur. And when you look at what Tickming brought, Venusaur looks pretty good. Mm, I agree. As long as Wilson is able to get rid of Tyranny kind of. Uh, you said that Wilson Tingling Spark victory is the Azumarill. Mm. That is roadblocked by the Venusaur. Mm. Well, I've been proven wrong. Statement didn't bring Azumarill. Yeah, and Wilson didn't bring the Venusaur either. Yeah, well, Tyranitar's setting up with Dragon Dance is also... Yeah, it's a threat to Venusaur. Because yeah. Crunch, to just, Crunch is just a very strong neutral attack. And there's always the chance of strong. a flinch and with the Rock Slide. Not just that. Venusaur can't really hurt Tyranitar in return. Because mm. Gagadrin into the special defense Sand Boost. Uh, and I suppose one of the values of Tarita is you not only threaten the Venusaur but you threaten the partner at the same time as well. So you can't really cover for Venusaur because your partner is at risk of being killed as itself as well. Yeah, and Landorus' best option on Wilson's side is the super is the earthquake unless he has superpower. But locking himself prematurely, if the Tarita protects or switches out, will put him in a dangerous situation. Which is why I think we saw him U turn out immediately in game one. Mm. This time, uh, he might be part. He might be tempted to go after the Tyranitar earlier on. As it's going to be the Cresselia and the Landorus. Are we going to see a Scarf Landorus mirror? Mm. I do believe so. So, sweet tie perhaps. Mm. Fini here for Wilson. Well, we'll see the first Intimidate come off from the main side of the field. Potentially a speed tie, or maybe he's just a faster Landorus. Fini here though, interesting. Interesting adjustment, definitely. He does Definite answer the Tyranita fairly decently. I think his thought logic is that Tingmei is going to preserve the Katana at the back. So I'm free for me to lead with my Fini, which can start inflicting some damage so that uh, my team can better deal yeah, with the Katana. Katana can't really come in. If you turn to Katana, Katana takes free damage. Mm. Muddy Water, most likely. Yes. Breaks his Sash. Puts it in range of a further attack. 
And we do see U-turn come out, so I think Ting Ming probably does have the faster landers. Hmm. Gets his U-turn off first. Recognizing that the landers on the opposing side is also scuffed, cannot protect, so it's a guaranteed U-turn into that slot. We'll bring Tarita in to set up the stand, take any hit. Hmm. And I expect to see U-turn into that slot as well. Or into the Crystallia. Yeah, Crystallia seems to be a safer option. Not it's as it has been intimidated. Not as quite damaged as the previous game, but and damage is still damage. Coco? Or Incineroar? I think you bring Incineroar. You threaten the Tarita with the low kick. And the fake out pressure. Hmm. And there's a very free combine for Wilson's side, I think. Do you though? Yes, you do. Or maybe you. Oh, okay. Yeah, the threat. The threat, of course, is that Katana could have come in, but they mean didn't make their, didn't make that decision. Potentially didn't even bring Katana. So, Tan still works out fairly okay, but he does get intimidated into Tyranita. And we do, and you do recall that I think in game one the Sinora did flinch to rocks, but yes. So that was a low that could have gone off. Well, Tarita looking poised to set up with a nifty dragon dance here. In front of the low kick, and eh. fake out. Eh. Crystallia is looking really dead weight right now. Mm. I mean, what else do you go for then? i he didn't switch the Crystallia out in front of the Fini. And he's, he's gonna give Fini another free turn. Yeah, he's still not switching out the Crystallia. Does, does he have some again? move? No, it's gonna be Psy Shock into the Kamine. Okay, but how much How he's, That's not a lot at all. Yeah, and you... You have to consider that that went into the defense there as well. So things not looking too hot here. Yeah, Ting Ming definitely Wilson. not. Ting Ming, I think, prioritizing his defenses on the Cresselia and not the its special attack. And might not get his berry. I think a Moonblast will finish it off at this range. Mm. Rock Slide is an option as well. Shouldn't KO, but with the potential to flinch. And that means Isinor has to invest in faking out the Cresselia. Yeah, it's gonna stay in both again. At this, at this point, I think Tengmin just wants something to get killed naturally, so Katana can come in for free. Mm. But before that happens, he needs damage on the Incineroar. Which I think he will get this turn with Rock Slide. Fini protecting here. Rock Slide, coming out. Does he connect with the Incineroar? He is intimidated. Does land here. It's gonna do a good 50%. More than that, actually. Slightly more, yes. And doesn't get away, it doesn't move quite yet. Ice Beam there. No one gonna freeze thanks to the Misty Terrain. As Knockoff comes out onto Cresselia, it's gonna pick up the KO. And give the free switch into the Katana. Ooh. I. Who? If it. I, this man Wilson has to hope that Temin didn't bring Katana. Because if Katana comes in here, you struggle to see. Temin might just snowball all the momentum into a win. Landers has to come in, but Landers take free damage on the switch in. Incineroar's down to the red. And here's Katana after all. And Tingming, from what looked like a terrible position, I think Wilson gave him what he wanted, which was the KO on the Crystallia slot. Hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I suppose a low key on the Tarita would have been more beneficial so that you can you leave the Crystallia. I mean, that's one of the strategies, right? He probably most predicted players that slot going to Landorus, maybe. Hey. Switch back out, fearing the low kick. Yeah, but, but I mean, th this is one of those strategies that players often use, right? You just leave the non-threatening yep. passive Pokemon by the right side and just keep focusing down the partner. He shows the Venusaur. That's one way to handle Katana. Finally, and brings in the Landorus to intimidate both Pokemon. So, Tyranita down to minus two. is going to switch out at this point. After and Venusaur looking in a decent position, able to answer the Katana this time. You do see Leaf Blade come out into the Venusaur. He's going to take that very well. The four times resist even before it Mega Evolves. <laughs> But Dragon Dance is going to bring his attack up to minus, minus one. one. But it's probably still outsped by the Scarf Landorus. At this point though, the Landorus... Does Wilson want to switch out, preserve the Intimidate, maybe cycle the Intimidate, bring in uh, an Incineroar for one last uh, Yeah, for the thing here is that well, Venusaur can wall Katana, Katana walls Venusaur too. Mm. So, the Gagadrain does do good, da good damage thanks to Katana's abysmal special defense That Truly, truly. I might even say it's paper. <coughs> Again, no switches for Tingming, and even though it looks like he might want to switch, I think he values the speed boost from the Dragon Dance. Mm, I, I, I like this mentality. And let's go to U-turn into the Katana. It's not going to do a lot yeah. thanks to that defense. Oh, it actually did a lot more than I was expecting. Not intimidated this time, so. So Incineroar should hit the field once again, bringing. Tainta back down to minus two. Yeah. And Katana down to minus two as well. Ooh, that is huge. But Incineroar will still go down. And bring Wilson down to his last. You know, he does still have Fini. 
As Rockslide comes out, it's gonna connect. Even with the double Intimidate, it's gonna kill the Incineroar. Fire typing, not the best in this scenario. Potentially flinching the Venusaur as well. Can't sleep powder in this terrain. I don't think he carries sleep powder anyway. As we do see another blade come out. The Tiger recognizing that it's gonna Intimidate, just try for the crit. And Venusaur mm. revealing the energy ball. So no recovery on the Venusaur beyond what's likely a Leech Seed. It's barely a 2-hit KO. 50%, but and now, now with, the the sand sand gone. with the Sand Gone, I think Venusaur can threaten the KO here. Right, now, now you really expect Landorus to come back in. Yeah. Just on which slot. Especially now that both are down to minus 3. Katana at minus 4 even. I, I mean, a double switch here would be nice, but... Nope, not I available thanks to the KO Cresselia. Yeah. Yeah, so Wilson clawing his way back from what looked like a very unfavorable position, revealing that he did bring the Venusaur to answer the offensive pressure on Tickman's side. And able to cycle his double Intimidate as well. Mm -hmm. Well... Again, Tigming didn't choose to bring the Azumaro, so opting to rely on Paranita to just power You can see why, Azumaro has no way to handle the Venusaur. Mm. Energy Ball just smacks the Azumaro. Never mind Slash Bomb. And just forced to come back in onto Tarinta. Tigmin recognizing that he'd rather reset Tarinta's attack. Mm -hmm. As Katana. We're going to super ball into the. Ooh! Into the Katana. That's a free switch in for Tarinita. But yeah. he is locked to super power. So he does get another super power up onto the Tarinta next turn. Yeah, a decent gambit there for Wilson to go lock himself into super power. And energy ball now with the target of Katana gone will go into Landorus. We'll not pick up the kill, but that's still more than 50%. And. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna come down to rock slide, I think. So the question Wilson here is, does he switch out the Landorus to preserve Intimidate, despite having a relatively free super power this turn? Hmm. I don't think Wilson can switch out though. He does have Fini at the back. Hmm. I think if you you if you reset the attack, you have a guaranteed win. Yeah, he's gonna lock it, get get rid of that. Yeah, uh, the attack minus and defense two drops. Minus Fini two. comes back in. As Tigmin has to choose what he's talking about. He's gonna rock slide. We know he's gonna rock slide, but let's see. Game's best move, everybody. Yeah, here's a rock slide. Double connect. So Venusaur potentially flinching this turn. And Tarita gonna go for Dragon Dance. No, just goes for another rock slide. He needs to KO the Venusaur. Doesn't get the KO, but two chances to flinch the Venusaur. <laughs> but I do believe Scarf Lando should clear in the game for Wilson. Well, we can't tell which of the rock slides flinch the Venusaur, but a flinch has happened. And uh, Venusaur, if nothing is done, should die to send the next turn as well. But now Wilson has a hope to not flinch with his own Landorus. <laughs> because we do, at this point, assume that Tigmin's Landorus is faster. Mm. But any attack, any and attack he, at all. He has lock, and he can't, lock, he can't really lock himself. He can't lock himself to super power, can he? He can't, right? Because the Landorus would just be a problem after he kills Tyranita. Oh, Rockslide like gonna avoid the Venusaur! Ooh, that is huge. What does he lock himself into with Landorus? Rockslide? Does go for his own rock slide. Tarita gonna avoid it. How much does he do to the Landorus return? Doesn't get the KO. And Tarita needs to land his own rock slide into the Venusaur. He does get it. Lands the rock slide into Venusaur and the Landorus. A lot of damage on his own Landorus considering the intimidate on the Mega Tyranita. Wow, wow, wow. And I don't think another rock slide can KO Tyranita. Mm. Which means that Tarita has not flinched and this game should be in Tingming's. This set should be in Tingming's favor. Here comes Rockslide from Landorus, connects again, a chance to flinch. If he flinches, this game is over. Single target yeah, Rockslide, he's going to flinch. That's going to be Crunch coming out, no chance to miss there. Crunch into Landorus, takes the set for Tigming. Well, best move in the game. Rockslide, tr truly, truly. And when you double up on Rockslide. Ooh, yeah. Twice the fun. I, I mean, the, the Tarita is not so as, not as, uh, oh, what's that word for It's not as disgusting as a play because you do get that step. Uh, damage from your uh, typing, but yeah, well, looks like flinches do get the job done here. Auto, you do, but again, maybe the maybe the super power lock, maybe I should make super power lock instead. Mm. We saw that rock slide, rock slide was not going to be enough against Tarinita. What was uh, what was Wilson's partner against the Venusaur? Was yep. it? Yeah. As in, firstly, he needed rock slide to miss his Venusaur, and which he got. But then you rock slide in return, you don't kill Landorus. You're not gonna get. It's still, uh, I think, a four kill on Tarita, mm. even after single target. But at that point, the Venusaur was at really low health and probably should die to Sand. Th then you still have. To, I think you still need to. You, I think Super Bowl might still give you a best bet. Mm. It's hard to say because you lower your defense and the next time you can eat another Rock Slide. Yes. So, I think he was actually trapped either way. Mm. Oh, he needed to finish the Tarita with his own Rock Slide. Oh uh, yeah, well, the, the he didn't even connect with the Tarita in the yep. first place, so a bit unfortunate there. But I rock think Rock Slide give up. <laughs> rock Slide take up. Ah. Uh, 
I I don't know. It's I think it's a pretty confusing victory. I I sort of maybe pigeonholed myself into thinking that maybe Tank Man should focus on the Azumario, but he's probably wrong Venus and showed that he can't mm. he can't get through the Venus mm. Yeah, and he's found an alternative method using the Tarantula. First in game one, setting up with the Dragon Dance, and in game two, not really bothering to set that at all, just using the Tar Mega Tarantula's base as to power through uh, Wilson's team. Then again, you have to wonder if if Wilson had the least seed. Maybe he should have spent turns using it instead of getting damage. I sort of feel Wilson's Venusaur isn't as bulky as more um, offensive. You think? Yeah, based because on the damage of, of uh, no, be, ju no, not because of that. How just much solely, took? just solely based on the fact that Wilson has chosen to use Energy Ball instead of Giga, Giga Drain. So which shows, which me makes me believe that it's not as bulky. It's more offensively orientated. Um, the yeah. stats are nice and the thick fat is nice, but it's not. The game plan is significantly different from the other Venusaur user we've seen today, Eugene. It's not meant to stick around forever, but to stick around long enough to do enough damage. Yes. And, um, well, it did stick around, but um, it didn't do any damage thanks to the Rock Slide flinch. So, uh, a bit, a bit, I mean, do you think Mega Venusaur is useful at all? I mean, we've seen two players bring them almost Both all the cut. way. Yeah. Both Venusaur, Mega Venusaur players today made it into top cut, one going unbeaten. I I think maybe it's because of uh, the prep. I think we've di we've discussed this a, a before a, a bit a while back. You're talking about how people dropping Zen Hiba on Metagross. But opens Metagross typical partner is think to yourself, what is Metagross typical partner? Tapu Lele. Lele doesn't give a doesn't care. Lele just gonna psychic Venusaur into a, mm. into infinity and beyond. Yeah, I I mean okay. Let me be. It's it's more of that now that um Met Metagross has chosen to drop Zen Hiba, it opens avenues for a lot of players to run. Pokemon that you wouldn't think should wall Metagross. or yeah Metagross in the first place. I like mean, Rotom Wash. Yeah, they, I've seen several Rotom, not just Wash, uh, Rotom hits at, as well. I suppose to take advantage of uh, trying to kill the Metagross outright with Overheat. So I think Venusaur is one of those um, Pokemon as well to take advantage of that. Not only because oh yeah, of and that. the thing about mm. Lele is that Lele is also weak to poison, so it's not it's not as perfect a matchup as you imagine. And you have you have to remember that Venusaur has two modes. You can run into the Mega Venusaur, or you can run into the Chlorophyll Venusaur. Which would just uh, murder you with a booster sludge bomb, potentially. Yes. So, uh, in the match with Farman and Brian, so we've seen both, both fast, Chlorophyll fast Venusaurs. Venusaurs. And Eugene, and in this case, uh, Wilson, Wilson, both run the very bulky Mega Venusaur. So, it's difficult for players to call right off the bat which type of variant they are going to fight. And because of that, they might be at a disadvantage in terms of Game 1. This was top cut though. At this mm. point, you know what Mac Venus or you're fighting. Mm, indeed. And I think Take Me took full advantage of it. Yeah. I suppose you don't really have because to. Because Azumario doesn't mind regular Venus or. Mm. He's still 2 killed by Aqua Jet after the Belly Drum. Mm. Mm. Mega Venus or though. Oh, no. <laughs> Different story. But well, power through with just Mega Tarata stats. Uh, we'll be going with an interview with the winner for the series. We'll be moving on to top 4 uh, Take Me. Yeah, so stay tuned. Welcome back. We are here with Ting Ming, the winner of the series you have you have just seen. 2-0, very convincing victory as well. Moving on to top four. First of all, congratulations on your victory. Um, second, I would like to ask, like, um, what sort of a uh, game plan did you have going against uh, Wilson? Like I, like for example, like his team didn't have any rocks, like resist, and like didn't have any like really good Tita answers except for the Lando. But the Lando can be like he. He wouldn't start with he wouldn't leave with Lando because of the Cresselia, so like mm. I can just safely leave with the Tita and just click rock slide a couple of times to do as much damage as possible and use Sandstorm to chip it into 
he's working on as well. Yeah, and I, l I like in game one and game the, the, the approach you have in game one and game two is a bit different. In game one, I think you're a bit more focused on trying to set up your Mega Tyranitar with the Dragon Dance. And when that didn't work in game two, then you decided, never mind, I'm not going to set up at all, I'm just going to use Mega Tyranitar stats to just push through uh, Wilson's entire team. As you mentioned, didn't have a very good uh, Rock Slide resist, maybe because of Me Mega Metagross. Um, Okay, so talk me through your um, experience today in the tournament. Were, were there any bad matchups or any matches you found tough in your Swiss tournament, in your Swiss rounds? Like, actually, I faced another, like, Mega Venusaur team and was, like, <laughs> pretty tough. Uh, oh, Eugene, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You might face him later on in the series, yeah. depending on how the tournament goes. Like, he just keeps switching his Intimidate mods and then, like, lower my attack a lot. Mm. And then on top of that, his Venusaur just keeps spamming lead seed. <laughs> So you, yeah. I think you'll be, be happy to know that Wilson's variant of Mega Venusaur isn't as um, bulky or as uh, defensive as Eugene. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe going forward, um, if you were to fight Eugene again, uh, would there be anything different you would want to try to do? Maybe it's something you didn't manage to accomplish in Swiss? A different strategy? Mm. Really, like, my team isn't really that good against Mega Venusaur, so, like... <laughs> Just try my best and <laughs> maybe get some rocks like flinches. I or don't I don't doubt that. <laughs> okay, and before um we end off, I just want to ask this is something personal because I I like Azumario, so have you used Azumario at all and is it good in this meta? Azumario is not bad. Like it's offensive. It, ha it has really good offense and like Water Fairy is a really good offensive titan as well. But mm. like it's it's difficult to use as well because like a lot of it doesn't it doesn't get a lot of good matchups as mm. well. Yeah. Indeed. The and as well as psychic terrain and all that blocking it, yeah. but good to see that is uh, at least working for you at least in this tournament. Yeah. So um, congratulations once again and good luck moving on to your top four match. So uh, guys, stay tuned. We'll bring with bring you the next top eight match, um, the quarterfinals shortly.